Welcome back to another modding tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to use both Frosty and Dragon Age mods for Dragon Age Inquisition so that they work at the same time. So let's get started. First and most importantly, you'll want to ensure you know how to install mods for both modding types, as we won't be deep diving into their installation processes in this video. I've recently created updated guides for both and I will leave them linked in the description. Next, you'll want to make a backup of your Dragon Age Inquisition patch folder and put it in a safe location. In my how to install .dai mods tutorial, I mentioned creating a DAI modding folder and I'd highly suggest leaving it in there. Your patch folder is located inside of your game folder, then updates and inside the updates folder you should find it. If you want to be extra careful, you should make two backup copies, title one patch underscore backup, and then title the other one something like patch underscore do not touch. Just in case something happens to one of your backups, you'll still have the other on standby. You'll want to start with your .dai mods already installed, and I'd personally check to make sure that they're working in-game before moving forward. That way, if you have any mod trouble down the road during this process, you know that your .dai mods are working correctly and you can cross each of them off the list as potential problems to troubleshoot. After your .dai mods are installed and you know that they're working, you need to go back into the update folder, which is located inside of your game folder, and you should see a folder now called patch underscore mod manager merge and also have another one called patch. Ensure that you have a backup copy of the patch folder as mentioned earlier, and then delete it from this folder. Now rename your patch underscore mod manager merge folder to just patch. The next step is to install frosty mods as you normally would and then launch the game. And that's it. You've officially modded with both modding types. Afterwards, just load into the game and make sure everything is working as expected. Before I finish, let's talk about how to update your mods while using this method. If you're just updating Frosty mods, you can update them as is without any worry. However, if you want to update your .dai mods, you'll have to go through a bit of a process. If you try to load into the DAI mod manager after switching patch folders, you'll now notice you get some kind of error. This is because DAI mod manager needs the original patch folder to run. This is where your backup patch folder comes into play. Simply delete the patch folder that is currently inside of your update folder, and then copy and paste your backup patch folder into the update folder. Ensure that the pasted folder is renamed to just patch. After that, do whatever you need to do modding wise, whether that means you're adding or removing new mods, etc. When you're done, delete the patch folder as mentioned earlier, that's in the update folder and then rename the folder that's called patch underscore mod manager merge to just patch. Every single time you change out any .dai mods, you'll need to repeat this process. If you don't know how to uninstall mods for either Frosty or the DAI mod manager, please see my previous videos for help on that. Lastly, before you go, here are a few bits of troubleshooting tips and advice. Each of my previous modding videos have their own set of troubleshooting tips, so if one set of mods is causing you trouble, make sure you check out that section of the respective videos for help. If you're loading into the game and you're only seeing frosty mods and you know your .dai mods should be working, then you haven't done the patch folder steps correctly. Make sure your original patch folder is deleted and your patch underscore mod manager merge folder has been renamed to just patch. If you're getting crashes or very long load times and you're using both modding types, you could potentially have a mod conflict. In this case, try loading in with just the .dai mods first and then load in one frosty mod at a time until you encounter the problem again. This can help discover which mod might be causing the issue. Once you discover it, one of the conflicting mods would have to be removed from your load order to ensure that your game runs smoothly again. And that's it! That is how you install both .dai mods as well as frosty mods together in Dragon Age Inquisition. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye!